Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be reviewing Miss A's products. I have them all here in front of me and you know what? I am just really eager to show you guys what my take on them was about. Before I get started, I do want to mention that I have never purchased anything from Shop Miss A before, so this is my very first time. So all of this that I will be trying will be first impressions. So yeah if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that i post a video all right so let's get started so as you know miss a is like an affordable brand right we're just going to test out these items today i was looking through all these products and i realized that i forgot to get setting spray and i forgot to get something to bronze my face up with I don't know how I forgot that because I swear I went over the list like 20 times, but it's okay because I'm going to still use like affordable products. I'm going to use this Black Radiance Contour Palette. It is pretty affordable and it is sold in like Walmart and in drugstores as well. So this is really, really affordable and also it comes in like another tone. I think it comes in like light to medium or something like that. And also this medium to dark. For setting spray, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Setting Makeup mist and first thing that we're going to try today is the aoa studio wonder skin perfecting blur primer now this has like shimmer in it i don't know why a blurring primer would have shimmer it feels really watery and light it almost smells like sunscreen i really don't see it blurring yet but you know what we're just going to keep on going now we're going to move on to our brows i am going to be using their sculpting brow this is in the shade dark brown So by the end of this video, I'm going to have told you what I would actually recommend and things that I would not. But one thing I do notice about this pencil is that you've got to really kind of get in there or you're not going to get the product that you want. I feel like that all of these type of things that's made like this does this where you have to like really go in with a firm hand or you're not going to get much product. That's why I stopped buying like... Mm, Things like the brow with and all, all those pencils and stuff. You use up so much product so fast. By the time you blink, the product is gone. I'm going to be carving out the brow. I'm going to be using the AOA Wonder Concealer. This is in the color Toffee. It is like a thick cre creamy concealer though. So I guess that's a good thing because it could have been hella watery. I really thought that the next shade would have been like a contour shade. This shade is really light for me. I'm scared to put it under my eyes because I feel like it's going to make me look too bright. But we're just going to work with it. I'm going to go ahead and tap out my eyes with this beauty blender that they gave. This beauty blender is actually pretty soft. Like I love the texture of it. I'm going to keep the eyes very simple today because I'm going to keep the focus on just if the products are good or not. I want to take this color right here and I'm going to work this color in my crease area. Now the color seems like it has a lot of pigment to it so I can't be mad at that. Which by the way called 5501. They don't have another deeper shadow here like a brown so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to use two colors today. I feel like I want to go in with this color today. It's a really really pretty shadow. I'm going to take that color on the lid. I really wish they would have offered some more shades. Like a dark brown color would have really, really, really made this palette just worth it. I feel like they had too many like purple shades in here. Like they could have narrowed it down to maybe two and then did like a chocolate brown shade in here. That way you can like smoke out your eye. Can't say anything bad about the shadows. Other than I wish they had that chocolate brown shade in here. But other than that, I mean, the colors are not ashy like a cheap color would typically be. It goes on very, very well. So for the lashes today, I'm going to be using the lashes from Miss Lash. These are their AOA Audrey lashes. These lashes right here are not really booming enough for me. Look how small they are. What the nonsense is this? Hyper Lash? It's like fuzz on here. Did it even do anything to my lashes? 
I guess they're supposed to be like eyelash extension. I thought I was buying regular mascara. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal mascara because I need some real coating on these lashes before I apply any type of false lash. So the lashes are pretty nice. I really like them. I feel like if this is like your everyday look with these lashes. I do like the lashes. I think I'm gonna purchase some more of these. They're called the Audrey Lash. By the way, anything that I don't say the name to, I'll make sure to link down below in the description box for you. I feel like these are really good, especially if you're going to work. You want something on, but you don't want something on too full. This is like perfect. And then they go mostly on the outer corner. I don't know, I feel like they fit my eyes perfectly. All right, so now that I am loving something like the eyeshadow and the lashes, let's go ahead and move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. So I'm just gonna pump this on the beauty sponge. I don't know if I mentioned I got this beauty sponge from the Shop Miss A website as well. What comes out at once? Whoa, that looks a little bit too point. This foundation smells good. <laughs> this sponge, I wanna buy like, 20 of these sponges it is so bouncy and it's like just i feel like it's just making everything just blend in perfectly mm. i don't know about providing much coverage but it did blend in really well with my skin now let's move on to concealer i'm gonna use that same concealer that i used to carve out my brow so it's really thick and creamy got the wrong shade Oh my gosh, look away to the light. This was toffee. This looks nothing like toffee. Nothing like toffee. Like, who are you kidding? This is not toffee. Toffee is not this. This is like beige. I purchased their banana powder as well. We're gonna see how this one looks. I really like my eyes. I like this portion of me right now, but these under eyes, I cannot. Hopefully, this helps the situation. <laughs> wow. This is making me look worse. I look pretty white right now. So, I'm not going to go down like this. I will not go down like this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to help this situation. Just a titch. And I'm going to take this color in this Black Radiance powder. I have to go in and use this under my eye. Help tone down what is going on. Once I tone it down with this yellow powder from Black Radiance, it doesn't look that bad. Still not my typical color under the eyes that I go for. But it looks better than that ash that I had a few minutes ago. Let's just move on. Let's go in and contour the face with that contour powder. Hmm, okay. So the look is coming together, even though, you know, had some challenges. I'm gonna go in now and use the highlighter that I purchased from there. Now, you see how I did that? I took this look from, uh, and made it something. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Ooh, ooh, it's actually really pretty. Pretty highlight. I like this highlight. So to finish up under the eyes, I'm going to go in and take that reddish color that I used in the crease area right in my lower eye. I'm going to take my L'Oreal mascara again, and I'm just going to coat my lower lashes. Well, now while that dries under my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use this pencil and this liquid lipstick that I got from Miss A. Now I'm about to go in and use the color called Trend, which is the liquid lip I picked up right now. I feel like I need a darker lip line with this, and then it may not look so bad. I don't know. This is really, I'm just really done with this look. I don't even want to try anymore, cover it up with anything. This is just what you get. So I'm just going to finish off with this e.l.f. setting spray. Okay, so that basically completes the look. This is 
the look. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in a lot of these items. I know that they were a dollar, but dang. I spent my hard earned coins on this. This lipstick look, I haven't even had it on five minutes and look how it is doing. Doesn't feel like it's going to stay on long. Honestly, it's kind of sticky. The eyes, oh my gosh. Like, I'm so in love with how my eyes turned out. Like, this palette, I will definitely recommend to you. They actually have more of these little palettes. And I'm going to make sure I link this one down below. Because I feel like this one was a hidden gem. Now, for the concealer, it honestly would not have been bad if it was my color. This right here looked deeper online. Not impressed by that. I thought this look was going to be a complete fail, but good thing I had that black radiance palette to kind of help this look come together because it would have been a major fail because that setting powder would just make me look ashy. Brow pencil, really didn't like it. The lashes, I honestly do like the lashes. The lashes are something that I could see myself repurchasing from them along with the eyeshadow palettes because they are really, really good. The highlighter is pretty good. I'm going to continue to use this because I love how it gives me almost a natural glow. Like, it looks like I'm glowing from within. So, I really do like the highlighter. This mascara was a definite negative zero. I don't even know what this is. It's already broken. Like, it, it was, I mean... It's not even mascara hyper lash make. It's not really much of nothing. Mm -mm, nuh -uh, eh, no. The primer, I don't really see much of how it blurred my skin. I did see that it added a bunch of glitter to it, but not really much of a blur. So, yeah. That is pretty much it. That is everything that I bought from Shop Miss A. There were a lot of fails, but then I found some good things that I could use again. I will probably keep the concealer from my kit so when I do someone else's makeup that is way lighter than me, I can probably use it then. The foundation was okay. I mean, I didn't see that it provided much coverage, but it did shade match well, so I can't complain about that. That is my take on Miss A. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was like a complete mess of a video. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.